Pay attention. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? The all things, there is not car and house and wife and children. And, and that's not what it means by all things. Materialistic people or people that were raised up in a very bad church or people that were pastored wrongly, when they see all things, they think of car and house and wife and children. But that scripture is a context. So let's look at the pretext to understand what the all things are. From verse 29, Romans 8, 29. For whom he did for no, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Next verse. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, then he also called. And whom he called, then he also justified. And whom he justified, then he also glorified. What shall we say to these things? What things? For no, predestinate, call, justify, glorify. Five things. What shall we say to these things? If God be for us. So these things are a proof that God is for us. Therefore, nobody can be against us. Next verse. He that spared not his own son, but gave him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us what? Predestination, foreknowledge, call, justification, and glorification. Those are the all these things. The all things there is no material things. The all things there is the justification given to you by faith. The glorification, the forgiveness of sins, the acceptance in God's plan and purpose. You being a member of God's predestined purpose before you were born. All of that is freely given along with Christ. So Christ is the consummation of God's predestined plan. Christ is the consummation of your justification, your glorification, your righteousness in God. All of that put together is a proof that God is for you. Therefore, giving you Jesus freely along with Jesus, he gave you all of those things. If it's clear, say I hear you. 